Hi everyone, I believe many of us have heard about the V-shape, U-shape and L-shape recovery after every recession. However, many economists believe that the recent global economy impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic is moving towards a K-shape economic recovery. So, what is a K-shape recovery about? A K-shaped recovery is a split in the recovery pace of the economy after a recession, meaning that some industries are able to bounce back at a much faster pace than the rest. For example, industries related to technology, healthcare, e-commerce, etc. Concurrently, the others remain suffering and trendy downwards. For example, industries related to travel, entertainment, hospitality, etc. So, what would be the macro implications of K-shaped recovery? Number one, inequality of opportunities. The new normal has created new and exciting opportunities for many people, but at the same time taken away some jobs in the long term. Number two, inequality of income. Households at the top of the pyramid are seeing significant income growth. In fact, the pandemic has triggered an income transfer from the poor to the rich and instigate higher income disparities. Number three, widening wealth gap. The rich are getting richer because of liquidity boosting, income growth, and asset inflation. Based on the latest Fed data, the top 1% of American households hold 15 times more wealth than the bottom 50% combined. In Singapore, the situation is much better, but widening wealth gap is still a major concern. What would be the implications to the property market? Number one, split affordability. More new rich and ultra rich buyers can afford to invest, while on the other hand, owners who are suffering from income loss can't afford to hold. Number two, the swap effect. More owners want to upgrade to bigger housings due to the trend of work from home and home-based study. On the other hand, some owners want to downgrade to smaller housings to lower their financial commitment. Number three, formal mindset. More buyers fear that they or their next generation can't afford to buy private residential properties due to potential inflation driven by the massive money supply. We expect sales volume of residential properties to be higher than last year and the sales prices to appreciate steadily due to the K-shaped recovery. The other factors are low interest rate environment and the surge in upgraders as many owners of BTO flats obtain their MOP. So how should we respond to the K-shaped recovery? Let me share with you the four P's. Purpose, plan, protect and progress. Number one, purpose. Be sure of your purpose of buying the property. However, if you are buying for your own stay and have the intention to sell in the future, it is advisable to think like an investor because the future value would affect your future lifestyle. Number two, plan. Do your research on the property market. Work out your investment budget, entry plan and exit plan. Number three, protect. Provide sufficient buffer for rainy days such as recession, job loss, etc. Preserve your wealth to hedge against future inflation. Number four, progress. Grow your wealth to capital appreciation and recurring rental income. If you can afford it, leave a legacy for your future generation. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not hesitate to contact any of our Orange Tea agents to accompany you through your home buying journey. For more content, do follow us on all our social media platforms and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest video release. See you again!